Always Never. Dean Patrick, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Thank you for having us. Of course. So we'll dive into new music in a bit. But before we get into that, I just want to hear from you guys, you know, how you guys came together. Yeah, I was uh, working on a project at school and um, where I needed a, a singer to work with. And uh, so I was looking around and uh, I found Pat on YouTube, messaged him on Facebook. And then we made uh, our first song over email. Um, it was a song called Tragedy that ended up getting uh, millions of plays in the first couple months on SoundCloud. I guess the success of that really made us want to continue to make music together and brought us to this point. When you guys first released the debut album, you know, you got a very special shout out by Khloe Kardashian. In that moment, how did that feel? It was a bit of a surreal thing because like, obviously you don't expect to see somebody uh, like her repost it, but then you do and you kind of just like, again, pinch yourself because you're just like, wow, this actually happened. You know, to have somebody like her listen to her music, you know? Yeah, and even like on the day that it happened, like we just weren't really even aware of it at first. It was people just started sending it to us and saying, Chloe's playing, um, playing your song on her Instagram story and um, we just had no idea. And then we went and looked and we were like, oh, this is crazy, like there's no way. <laughs> Always Never saw a lot of success with their 2018 debut with their hit song Wyland sitting at over 8 million views on YouTube. And now in 2020, they are back with their sophomore album, Shadows in My Home. What was the growth process like for you guys from your debut album to this project? Um, obviously the sound has kind of like evolved a bit. You know, we've tried some new things, like, you know, we're trying some uh, different production techniques, some different vocal techniques. And then also we, on, on some of the tracks, we also like work with some other people to kind of bring some like additional influences and like styles too, to just kind of like give it some like variation. Um, all in all, it's like still the same kind of music. It's just, you know, we're just trying to elevate it this time around. And you guys said yourself that this was made out of two years of an emotional roller coaster. So tell me a little bit about what that creative process was like. I mean, I'm sure for Dean, just as me, you know, like, you know, life can sometimes be turbulent. You go through relationships that aren't too great. And I think the music is just an opportunity to reflect on those moments. So, you know, like some of the songs, well, all of the songs really, you know, are just reflections on, on things that happened in the past, I guess. So, two years. And how did it feel, obviously, to be releasing new music in a pandemic? Um, it was a little scary at first because we, I guess, just didn't really know how music consumption was going to change. Uh, we were a little hesitant at first, but then we realized along the way that, um, you know, getting the music out uh, sooner would be great, like during the pandemic with, um, you know, people, the type of music that we have is very emotional. And a lot of people are going through an emotional time in, in a pandemic. So um, we felt like it, it, you know, may serve as something as a, as a you know, comforting to, to people or fans of our music during uh, such a, an emotional time. When we go back to touring the way we know how, which track off of the sophomore album are you most excited to perform live? I think for me, it's gonna be Fade Away. Like, I just love that song so much. Um, it's our lead single on the album too. And I think it's just a great song overall. It's just such a cool vibe. Mm -hmm. You guys work together. You guys also live together. I mean, do you guys ever switch off from being always never to just like two roommates hanging out or are you kind of always creating? Yeah, I mean, of course, yeah. you know, we're we're still friends, right? So it's just <laughs> yeah. like we, we play video games, we kind of just like, I don't know, just chat like about just life, I guess. Um, so, you know, the music is just like a, an extra thing, you know, but uh, yeah. So you're not sick of each other yet? No. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 